Hey, it's Craig. I just wanted to let you know that you can listen to Canadian History X early and ad-free on Amazon Music, included with Prime. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Canadian History X. For many hockey players in the 1970s, they may have not have had the success in the NHL, but they became stars in the WHA. This was the case for Don McLeod, a goalie from Trail, British Columbia, born on August 24, 1946. Being born in Trail, home of the legendary Trail Smoke Eaters, earned Don the nickname Smokey on his future teams, although some say it came from his love of unfiltered cigarettes. From the beginning, he worked hard to pursue his dream of playing professional hockey. He was born with a deformed right foot that would eventually be corrected with surgery, helping him along his path. His father worked at the trail smelter and would build his son a metal shoe so he could play baseball. Due to his deformed foot, he would wear a size 10 skate on his left foot and a size 7 skate on his right foot. In addition, his right leg was 2 inches smaller than his left. He would make his debut with the Smoke Eaters at 17, recording 0 wins and 7 losses. After playing hockey throughout his youth in BC, he would join the Edmonton Oil Kings in 1965-66, remaining with the team until 1967, and playing in the Memorial Cup and recording 15 wins in the tournament. His stellar play helped the Oil Kings defeat the Oshawa Generals in 6 games. It should be noted that the Oshawa team had a player by the name of Bobby Orr on it. He would then join the Fort Worth Wings, recording 5 wins and 7 losses. For the next four seasons, he would play in the AHL with the Quebec Aces, Springfield Kings, and Baltimore Clippers. He would make his way to the NHL for the 1970-71 season, playing for the Detroit Red Wings. During the 14 games with the team, he registered three wins and seven losses with an 8.53 save percentage and a 5.16 goals against average. He gave up his first goal 101 seconds into the first game in net to a rookie player on his way to the Hall of Fame named Darryl Sittler. The Detroit team of that year was extremely bad, and it didn't give McLeod much of a chance to perform to his level. This was shown in the fact that while playing with the Fort Worth Wings the same year, he won the Terry Sawchuk Award for allowing the fewest goals against. For the next two seasons, he would play in the CHL and ANHL for the Fort Worth Kings and the Providence Reds and the Richmond Robins. This was followed by a brief stint with the Philadelphia Flyers for the 1971-72 season. During his four games with the team, he recorded no wins and three losses. When the WHA formed, McLeod jumped over and joined the Houston Arrows where he played two seasons. His 1973-74 season would be his best year, winning the Ben Hatskins Trophy as the top goalie in the league and earning a place on the first All-Star team. That same year, the Arrows would win the Avco Cup. During that season, he played in 49 games, recording 33 wins and 13 losses with a goals against average of 256. The play of McLeod was so good in the WHA that he was selected to represent Canada in the 1974 Summit Series against the Soviets. He joined Hall of Famer Jerry Cheevers and Giles Garat as one of the three goalies from the WHA on the team. In the one game he appeared in, he was scored on eight times by the Soviets. One interesting story about McLeod from that tournament was that while players could bring one guest, most brought their wives or girlfriends. McLeod chose to bring his mother, rather than his wife. It was also around this time that he was offered a new contract. The team offered him $99,999, but he wanted a six-figure contract, literally one cent more and he decided to turn down the deal. This would lead him to the Vancouver Blazers, where he appeared in 72 games, a record, recording 32 wins and 35 losses. Going with the franchise to Calgary, he played as the main goalie for the Calgary Cowboys for the next two seasons before that team folded. Drafted from the remnants of that team by the Quebec Nordiques, he would play seven games before being traded to the Edmonton Oilers, where he would end his career that year. As for why he was traded, McLeod asked for one due to the hard adjustment to life in Quebec City for his wife and their children, none of whom spoke French. McLeod was one of the top goaltenders in the history of the WHA, setting several career, season, and playoff records. Over the course of his WHA career, he would appear in 329 games, registering 155 wins, 
123 losses, and a goals against average of 334. In his career, he also recorded 43 assists, including 13 in 1975-76, which was a professional record at the time. Following his hockey career, he would work as a traveling salesman for the Hershey Canada Company between Calgary and Cranbrook. He would pass away on March 11, 2015 at the age of 68 of a heart attack. Information for this article comes from Wikipedia, HockeyDB, Legends of Hockey, and the Globe and Mail. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Small Town Hockey Heroes on Canadian History X, and if you did, please give a like and review. You can find me on Twitter at C-R-A-I-G-B-A-I-R-D, and you can find me through email if you have any questions or ideas at C-R-W-B-A-I-R-D at gmail.com. You can visit my website, which has hundreds of history articles on Canada, at CanadaX, that's E-H-X, dot blogspot, dot C-A. Thank you, and we'll see you again next time.